appreciate you staying with us. You know, every Thursday we talk with Mark Cass of the Milwaukee Business Journal for the latest stories making headlines in business news. And all throughout Summerfest, Mark is interviewing local CEOs one on one. Today he joins us with Aaron Yagfeld, the CEO of Generac Power Systems. Hey, Mark. Hey, Ryan. How are you doing today? I'm out here with, with, with Aaron. Aaron, I want to start with your stage. You've, you've had this now for a year. How has it gone? And kind of how do you use it for the company? Yeah, we love this. Uh, it was a great spot right here in the middle of the fest. Uh, we bring a lot of customers through. We bring a lot of our employees through, right? So it's a great way for us to demonstrate to our employees how much you know we want to be a part of the community here. And it's just worked out fantastic. We're super happy with it. So you, you, you've obviously I've seen some bands. Kind of what's been your favorite act so far? Well, I'll tell you, the Violent Femmes played last Friday. Right. Fantastic show, but we've had some atmosphere. It was on Saturday, even Anthrax on Thursday. So we've had kind of something for everybody in the first three days of the fest. So we're going to have a lot of fun. T tomorrow's kind of 80s day, so I'm kind of a, a product of the 80s. So I'm looking forward to Howard Jones tomorrow night. So not Anthrax, Howard Jones. I like that. Okay, well, let's talk about some work issues. You've obviously kind of labor issues has been a big thing for you. How many open jobs do you have right now? Kind of how's that gone in terms of you trying to address your labor problems. Yeah, we've got about 200 openings here in Wisconsin still, and we've got a couple more down at our plant down in uh, South Carolina as well. Uh, it's been difficult. We've had to raise wages, um, you know, so that's obviously part of, you know, what everybody's experiencing. Uh, the unemployment rate in Wisconsin is still really low, so it's a, it, labor is one of our biggest challenges to growth in terms of a barrier. So, so I mean, really, kind of what things have worked for you for, in, for recruiting? So for us, we do this thing called walk-in Wednesdays, right? Where we allow people, we kind of open up our plant doors. We say, hey, come on in. You don't have to have an appointment. You don't have to have an interview slot. Just come on in. If you're thinking about a job, come on in and start somewhere. We can show you what we got open. We can talk to you about your skills, try and match you with a job. I think one of the great things is we're growing so fast, we provide a lot of opportunity for people. So if they can get their foot in the door, it's a great way for them to grow into something bigger in their career. I know you and I talked earlier this year, and you talked about the shift issue. Kind of explain, there's no longer three shifts anymore, is it? No, the standard workday is completely gone, right? Like, I think after the pandemic, we really learned that you can't give people that first shift, second shift, third shift that people have become accustomed to. There are people who want to work partial shifts. They want to work a three-day weekend, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They might want to work, you know, kind of a modified shift because they've got kids that have to go off to school in the morning, so they can't start until 10. So we've, had, we've gone to 14 different shifts in a lot of our factories to try and accommodate and be a lot more flexible in our scheduling. We obviously have to talk about inflation. It's obviously the number one issue for everybody right now. How has it impacted you and kind of how are you handling that with your customers? Yeah, unfortunately, we've had to deal with uh, that with pricing. We've added a lot of pricing into the marketplace. We're seeing inflation in not only labor, but also basically everything we buy, right? So all the materials we use, all the services that we consume, all of it's gone up. And unfortunately, I think, you know, we're, we're not maybe at the end of it yet. I think there's maybe a little bit more to go here yet this year. Um, I do hope that we start to see some moderation in some of these uh, inflationary signals uh, because it's really difficult out there for obviously a lot of people who have to try and figure out how to balance their budget with all of this additional inflation. I mean, I have to ask about a recession. Are you concerned about that and kind of how are you preparing for that? Yeah, we are concerned about that. I mean, consumer demand appears to kind of be softening in certain segments already. So we're worried about that like every other company. Our products, we're a little bit more durable. You know, when your power's out, your power's out and you need one of our products. So I think from that standpoint, we feel like we can get through a recession pretty well, but we're seeing housing slow down. We're seeing a couple other areas of the economy start to slow. So that is a concern. Well, Aaron, Aaron, it's always good to talk to you. Have a great fest. Have a great time at Howard Jones. Thanks a lot, Mark. And Ryan, I'm going to throw it back to you. And I'm hoping to see you at Howard Jones, Ryan. All right, Mark and Aaron, thank you. We appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us on the news at 4.